Hey everybody, my name is Ben Strader. I'm here at EFI University with my old friend Lake Speed Jr. Getting, yes, the, uh, getting the band back together. Exactly, one more time. Yeah, we, uh, we've done a lot of interesting projects in the past together doing research. So we've moved on to different subject matter, but same old group of guys doing the same old kind of research. And Lake's been here for a couple of days with us while we're going through one of our competition engine development classes. And he came to add some spice to the mix for us and, and bring some information to the table. Tribology. Tribology, right? Yeah, so exactly. Tribology is the study of friction wear and lubrication which are all kind of things that are important if you're trying to build a high rpm racing engine efficiency back to your triangle right, right. Uh, thermal efficiency mechanical efficiency and volumetric efficiency yep so tribology deals with that mechanical efficiency how do we make the most efficiency <laughs> as possible and a big part of that is Ring seal. Yeah, so in the old days we used to talk about oils and lubrications and nowadays you're working over a total seal and it turns <clears> out there's a lot of correlation in the relationship between what oil you're using and what ring you're using. Oh yeah, I mean, end of the day, piston ring is your oil's best friend. That's your that's your seal. That's this your is the seal. Ring. This is what this is. This is a seal. The job of the piston ring is to seal those combustion gases above the piston so it can drive and move the piston to make mechanical work. Mm -hmm. And then any blow by is what contaminates the oil and kills the oil. That's why, as a tribologist, this is your oil's best friend. And it's also a really key tool for reducing friction. That's right. So the ring does a lot of those jobs for us. One of them is just that reduction in friction to make the engine free up more. But also that's something a lot of people don't think about is when you contaminate the oil with combustion gases, mm -hmm. it doesn't do its job well. It, it can't do right. what it's designed it, to do. It's diluting the oil. It's yeah. taking away the effectiveness of the oil. Yep. So uh, over there at Total Seal, you guys have been working on some new stuff to help with that, yep. right? So traditionally, in order to get a better ring seal, mm -hmm. we would take our piston and we would drill these little holes in it. Not everybody's seen this, but these are called vertical gas ports. And what that gas port does is it allows the high pressure combustion gases to get down there and get behind this ring, so on this side of the ring, and push that ring out and help it seal against the cylinder walls. You know, the one downside to doing that lake is that eventually my holes get plugged up and they don't work as good. I yeah, wish, exactly. I wish there was a better solution to, uh, to that problem. You know, it'd be, of course, be nice of if course. we could overcome that. Well, you know, the vertical gas ports, they tend to get dirty over time. Then probably about 10, 15 years ago, much of the NASCAR guys, hey, let's go put a lateral gas port in. So you take it away from that dirtiest part of the piston, move it down to the side, but it's still the same thing. It kind of still tends to clog up and get dirty over time. Sure. Well, the ring gurus over at Total Seal came up with a gas ported piston ring. That way you're putting the gas ports in the ring instead of the piston. And there's a couple of advantages for doing so. So first of all, I could probably save some money not having all this complex machining operation done on my piston, right? That's a nice benefit too, yes. Second of all, I could probably just buy a piston that's already on the shelf and make that work, can I? Exactly. This is, uh, you can put this on an off-the-shelf piston and now your off-the-shelf piston has gas ports. So basically what you have at Total Seal now is race-level technology for everybody's piston. Correct. And there's a couple of mechanical <laughs> benefits to putting a gas port in a ring versus a piston. Oh really? So tell me why. Okay, well number one, this piston is made out of 2618 aluminum. That's right. As a tribologist, I happen to know that the detergent additives in motor oil are going to be more effective on steel than aluminum because they will work better on a ferrous material. That's non-ferrous, this is ferrous. Cool. So that's one benefit. Other thing is, we really hope that this top ring land where the gas ports are drilled in never touches a cylinder wall. Mm -hmm. So the ring is touching the cylinder wall, which means as it rotates around, it's self-cleaning. Interesting. So that ring, as it's going up and down those cross hatches, is being forced to rotate, and mm -hmm. you're basically knocking the carbon out of those grooves. Exactly. So whereas this one is not rotating, and every time it's going up and down, it's just slowly getting filled, and eventually I gotta stop and either take it apart and clean them out, or get new pistons. Exactly. The idea of gas ports is like jujitsu for rings or, or ceiling. <laughs> it's just taking that combustion energy, that, that pressure, and as opposed to trying to fight it, you're using it to create better seal. That's cool. The downside of gas ports is as they get dirty, it's like turning the valve off. Having that valve in the hole is like having the valve open to have the flow to use that energy to seal. But as they clog up and get dirty, you're turning the valve off and you're losing that effectiveness. The idea of the gas ported piston ring allows that faucet to stay open full force longer so you get the benefits 
longer. So whereas traditionally we would always tell people if you're going to do gas ports, it needs to be on like a short duration engine. So you got to be willing to take the engine apart all the time and, and do something about it. So basically what you're saying is you can get the same benefit, but now I can put it in my street car. Right. So like your LS engine for your street, now we've got shelf part numbers for LS bore sizes that are gas ports. So you can take your stock piston for an LS, put gas ports in it, wow. and now you've got something where you can go out there and, and get the better ring seal that gas ports provide without having to worry about, okay, I'm gonna go a thousand miles and then rebuild my engine. So that's a drag weaker's dream, right? This is made for drag weak. That's cool. So I got all the extra power. Mm -hmm. I get the benefit of my oil doing what it's supposed to do and lasting longer, mm -hmm. and it's got durability. Correct. Man, why wouldn't I want that? This is So they gotta be like mega super rock star expensive though, right? No. The gas ports normally cost around $15 a piston. Okay. This is the same thing. Off the shelf stock pistons plus a gas ported piston ring set from Total Seal is less than a typical custom gas ported piston alone. Yeah, consider the cost of a billet piston with gas ports. By the time you do all the machining operations and the billet material, we might have sixteen or eighteen hundred dollars in one set of pistons. Okay, yeah, we're way out under that. Yeah. Piston so and rings. Now I can go buy a set of my favorite brands forged mm -hmm. pistons off the shelf with a part number, stick that ring right in it, and I have all the benefit that I would have got uh, previously, but without all the cost. Exactly. Sign you up for drag week, let's go. That sounds like a win to me, buddy. Cool man. Can't wait to run them on the dyno. Coming soon, right? Alright. Well that's what we're gonna do and we'll see you guys when we do it.